from the ring to the screen, all things sports and entertainment. The Shador Sanders call out of Buffalo went up against Nebraska this past Saturday, and uh, it was bad. They couldn't they couldn't stop uh, Nebraska's defense. It was bad, and it got bad within the first quarter. But Shador and Colorado Buffaloes fell apart on TV. They did, honestly, they did. And you could tell Travis Hunter was feeling some kind of way. Shador was feeling some kind of way. And towards the end of the game, you seen Shador get up with two minutes left and he walked to the back. And then he also did an interview and he asked how many times did Dylan Riola, the quarterback from Nebraska, get hit and so on and so forth. Well, he did a podcast with his cousin Darius with Reach the People Media. So they got a, on their podcast, Darius asked him that about him walking to the locker room while the game's still on. He said it was a precautionary measure because he was hurt. They didn't know if he was going to be hurt. And he also said that when, during the press conference, he wasn't throwing his uh, team members under the bus like his O-line. Or he also said it was a rookie mistake when he threw an interception, but he said it was for him. And I'm going to be honest, that might be true. But Colorado, they dropped the ball. And Shador, you got to understand, man, you're a quarterback. And you're also supposed to be a future franchise quarterback for the NFL. You got to show character, man. You got to show poise. You can't walk to the locker room. And Colorado, why would y'all even let him do that? It's two minutes left. Unless it's life or death, man. He need to be out there with his team. You the quarterback, man. You the leader. But that's just one of the things I see with Colorado besides penalties and the deep. I mean, the offense. It, just, it don't seem like they're... They're a unified team. It can't be Travis Hunter, Shador Sanders, Coach Prime, and then everybody else. But Shador, man, as a quarterback, man, you got to stay out there. You got to be the first one in, the last one out. So I don't know, man. You know, I understand he's young, and I'm rooting for Shador. I want to see him win. I want to see him be the number one overall pick in the upcoming draft. But it's got to be done on the field, man. Shador showed a lot off the field. Him and Colorado, instead of being on the field, now people are asking questions. Is this a train wreck, and will Coach Prime even be? Be there next year people are already speculating that thinking that he gonna he gonna leave and, and ride off to the sunset but all of that can be answered if y'all just focus on winning man so the media is cool i don't have a problem with them with their social media accounts but you also got to be ready to take the heat when it's coming but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it. i know they got a game coming up against uh, colorado state at 7 30 on saturday so i'm definitely gonna check it out but yeah tell me what y'all think